Hey guys, this is going to be my first YouTube video on this channel. I'm going to be playing some Grid 2. I just bought this game yesterday and I think it's a very good game. Anyways, I'll leave you to the gameplay. Okay, quick heads up. The route can change here at any time, so stay alert. We're off. There's like really realistic, uh, so if you hit something, like you, you could possibly like hurt your engine and your acceleration goes down or something like that. And there's the guy talking in the background, he's your mechanic. So if you do hit something, you'll say like, oh, that was a hard hit, you're going to lose acceleration. I don't know how he knows that, but I mean. Let's move into the top three. As you can see, I just fly past this Nissan. That's why I love muscle cars in this game. Muscle cars are like so overpowered, I think. Well, I, I mean, Nissans are way better at drifting in this game, but it goes both ways. Like, muscle has faster on the straightaway. I'm only in tier one, too, so, I mean, this game has full potential to, like, just keep going and stuff like that. flying in this first corner and I'm gonna hit yep I hit and I'm gonna rewind this this is another mechanic in this game you can rewind racing I mean most people don't like it but whenever you're playing with a mouse and keyboard in a racing game it is like really hard to keep control of the vehicle so I would suggest buying like an Xbox 360 controller I mean I have one but I didn't use it in this gameplay because I don't know I'm kind of used to the mouse and keyboard in this game Mouse and, key mouse and keyboard is kind of, you gotta get used to it in this game. Unless you have an Xbox 360 controller or something like that. In the game mode that I'm playing right now, it's, it always, it's constantly changing. So, in the, left hand bottom corner you can see like there's two arrows crossing so each time I go around a lap well it's not really a lap but it'll just keep changing constantly changing this is like another this is like a competitive mode of this game and the whole point of this game is WSR racing or whatever it's to bring all the other racers like into one match and put them together I'm on easy difficulty. Bam. Hey guys, uh, I wanted to show you guys some uh, vehicles and customization of those vehicles. There's some Nissans. Since I just started this game, I don't have many vehicles. I'll be showing uh, the customizations on the Nissan, but all the customizations are like the same on each car. This game goes by tiers, it's up to tier 4 and then there's IndyCar. I'm only on tier 1. This game has patterns, there's 54 patterns total on each car and there's different uh, types of patterns, there's stripes, there's graphical, traditional, and then there's hero, and then there's none. I mean, <sighs> it looks alright, but they could have did a little bit more, I thought, but 
the game's not really about customization, it's about like the handling of the car. Here are the colors, they have a lot of colors. There's different paint types, there's flip, pearlescent, gloss, metallic, and then matte. There's all the primary colors, but you can change that with the uh, primary shade, as you can see there. There's three pattern colors, and then there's wheel color. show you some of the wheels there's 51 wheels total for all every car every car has the same I don't know why they did that but also another cool feature is you can change the size of these so you can have big rims and low profile tires Then sponsorships. This is cool because in the game, you based on like how much fans you have, and they're basically objectives, side objectives. So while you're racing, say you drift a total of 1.1 mile, and then you get 3,000 fans at the end of the race. Just another thing that is kind of cool in this game. K and N. Then you can change the color of the sponsors, which is kind of cool. And numbers, you can have up to three digits. I mean, it's just for more racing stuff, I guess. I don't really use numbers. I think it's kind of... There you go. This pretty much wraps up everything with the customization on every vehicle. And... I'll see you guys later. Make sure you subscribe and like for the next video.